for uh, Decatur City Schools. Um, we're here tonight to officially notice the community that we are engaged, uh, Atlanta Public Schools, in a conversation uh, with Decatur City Schools um, about a temporary lease, and I, I do stress, or want to stress the word temporary um, lease of the, um, the, the East Lake building. We, as I mentioned, we are engaged in conversation, so the terms of the agreement we are still working out and aren't at liberty to, uh, to disclose tonight. Um, but we did want to show up to, to, um, to officially notice the community that we are having conversations. And if um, we get to a point where both districts are comfortable, um, I plan to take a recommendation to the superintendent, and if the superintendent, my superintendent agrees, and certainly if his superintendent agrees, um, then a, um, a board action item will be presented to the, uh, the Board of Education, probably at our December board meetings, um, asking for the board to approve um, a temporary lease agreement. And we answer any questions at this time. Yes, ma'am. Um, just for clarification, I know that the cater originally issued a list of schools to APS back in February that it was interested in leasing from APS. So, are you saying that your discussions are just now beginning now, or that you guys are kind of looking at that list beginning back in February? Ma'am, I'm the chief operating officer, and, and that list would have. It was in the newspaper back on that. Okay. I'm not aware of a, a list that came to APS. So I, what I can say from the Decatur side of that uh, conversation, I don't, I'm not, again, I'm not aware of a list of schools. What I can tell you is that the city of Decatur, um, in preparation for uh, hopefully a bond passing, which it did, in preparation for construction, has been looking at a number of ideas. And I think that that may be how it got interpreted into a list. We've just been exploring ideas for what to do for temporary space while we are under construction because we're not uh, over the city of Decatur, just like you guys here, just like the, our student population is not slowing down. And um, even at even at five years out predictions of five and seven percent, that's still an amazing amount of students uh, in terms of growth. So we are looking for something for a temporary option. We got into discussions, particularly about the East Lake building because it's in such close proximity. Uh, it's a nice building. Um, is this a matter that requires uh, voting or approval from the Neighborhood Association or NTUF? No, it is not. Um, our board policy requires that we notice the community. <coughs> yes, ma'am. And do we have an idea of how temporary temporary is? Temporary, we will, again. I mean, what, is there like a time range or? We're still waiting. Our discussions are too brief. We are not looking for a solution here. We're so by, I don't know what you mean, like ten persons is a five ten years. That to me, that's a long term solution. Short term solution is well, we're going to be starting. Our plan is over the next three to five years to have that happen. So somewhere short of that. And obviously, enough people don't want to say that this agreement would have to be temporary enough that if your school district. Shape. We've um, we've actually maintained the building as um, you know a, a temporary a relocation site for Atlanta Public Schools. Um, the building's in fairly good condition. Um, I'm sure that we whatever the agreement is, if we're able to reach an agreement, um, the cater will probably need to get into the schools and do a few things in order to have it ready. Yeah, it won't be overnight. 
I was just curious, to her point, did you have an uh, estimated student population that will be attending the school? Um, I'll say this. Right now, our, we're not doing any kind of estimated student population or anything. We've got to get through discussing whether, whether our agreement will go through or not first. Then we've got to go back to the school district and figure out what's going to be the best use for that, what's the safest use for our students, what's the best thing for the community. We're interested in being good partners with you all as a community and being good neighbors. So those discussions will be down the road. And Share that with you. Are we talking elementary? At this point, we have not made any sort of plans on what we're the building other than we've got a lot of construction going on and we need some students. Your biggest need right now is elementary. We have a lot. <laughs> This is a question for APS. As the city of Atlanta parent and uh, resident of this neighborhood, what are the plans for the revenue? And will the revenue be earmarked to shore up our cluster rather than going into APS general coffers? Um, right now, the we, we haven't had those specific conversations yet. Um, generally, revenue that's generated from an agreement such as the one that we're having conversations about um, do go into the, the general fund. Um, you can certainly take um, that concern back to the superintendent and um, yeah. see what you think. I think if there's an opportunity for the community to have input into how the revenue is spent, you'll see a lot more support from the community. <laughs> Take that back to the Thank floor. you. Come right to you, sir. The gentleman had his hand. Uh, yes, uh, the is blessed with a lot of churches with big educational buildings. Have y'all checked into renting or leasing the educational building at one of these churches for your We've run through a lot of opportunities. Um, none of the churches within the city limits are uh, have the capacity that this particular building does for what else? What about outside? Most of them are. Outside? Most of them are So when we had this discussion as they closed the Slate Elementary School, we were very concerned as a community about what the eventual use would be. And 
that time, standing on that stage, not far from where you are now, the superintendent promised us a say in what happened. And that's different than a notice to me. I think that we should be allowed to have more of an inclusive role in determining what happened. That's part and parcel of this community having more control of its entire educational outlook. And working with Madeline Sporl, our, our, uh, our uh, board member, to craft a vision for the community that's all inclusive so that we don't have a lot of divisiveness in the community based on the way the education is. Yes, sir. So, is that something that we could work on together? Have some representatives from our, our neighborhood uh, meet with you to go over the terms of the lease, talk about how long we're talking about each 